Next. Welcome everyone to a very, very special Q&A today. What a crew we have. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spider Verse. It's just the wrangling to get this own Spider Verse together. Uh, I'm Terry Schwartz from IGN, and I first want to introduce our, our incredible uh, panel of talent. So in the front row, we have Chris Miller and Phil Lord, our producer. Yeah. We have Jake Johnson playing Peter Parker. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Shamik Moore, our Miles Morales. Yeah. Haley Steinfeld as Gwen Stacy. Yeah. And Mahershala Ali as our Uncle Aaron. <laughs> and then in our back row, we have our three incredible directors, Bob oh. Persichetti, Rodney Rothman, and Peter Ramsey. Yeah. Yes. Lily Tomlin as Aunt May. Yeah. Luna Lauren Velez as Rio, Miles' mother. <laughs> And Brian Tyree Henry as Jefferson Miles. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, now, thank cool. you guys so much for coming here. It's really cool, uh, actually, to get to talk to you all now because the reviews for this movie came out on Wednesday, and with 49 reviews and counting, you guys are still at 100% positive Ooh. on Rotten Tomatoes. Nice. Wow. So, no no whammies. No whammies. <laughs> um, I, of course, need to tout IGN's review. We gave you guys uh, a nine, which is an amazing, and it's funny, it's true. You can use every sort of spider adjective to uh, to talk about this movie, was incredible, it, spectacular. What? Was it a nine out of ten? Is that was that? Nine out of ten. Sorry. Talk about that. Yeah. No, no, what what one caused one you guys to like talk about that? Hey, we'll talk about that. Hey, no, no, no. And and also defends a nine. I'll shout out David Griffin. You guys can go find his Twitter and talk to him about it. No, I also did want to mention that the New York Film Critics Circle just named this the year's best animated Ooh. movie as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really, really incredible. Um, but I do want to get to some questions. Obviously, we want to keep things spoiler free for when the movie comes out on December 14th. Uh, but December we December 14th, you say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Wait, December 14th? That's right. In wow. theaters. In theaters? In theaters, <laughs> in theaters, <laughs> yeah. in theaters right? right? Exclusively December in theaters. 14th. Right, it's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie? Yeah, it's a <laughs> movie. It's <laughs> totally <laughs> see. We're to talk about a movie. You know um, what? Yeah, you got to see it more than once, too, to really capture it. Well, then you can see it on December 15th and That's right. December 16th. That's right. And Christmas you know what? You might buy a few extra seats just so you can spread out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want reports of like empty theaters? <laughs> no, that's not what we're selling. <laughs> uh, no, first no, you got to buy the <laughs> seats. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and first first question for, for Chris and Phil. Uh, why, of, of all the Spider-Man stories to tell, was it so important for you guys to tell a Miles Morales story, our first time seeing Miles on the big screen in this way? Well, in uh, 2014, when Sony came to us and said, what about doing an animated Spider-Man? We said, uh, uh, we'll do it, but only if it's a Miles Morales story. And they said, okay. And we said, really? Uh, <laughs> awesome, uh, because it's such a fresh new take on the sort of eternal Spider-Man hero myth that uh, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko created uh, so many years ago. And, and the relationship with Miles and his family, while you know he's a young man trying to figure out you know, how he can actualize his potential, and their uh, you know, parents and an uncle trying to figure out how they can help him the best. That was so moving to us and so refreshing to see this intact family and you know, the, the, where they all love each other, but they're, they're trying to figure out you know, the best way to help this kid. No, Shamik, I've heard that it has been your dream to play Miles Morales. So what did it mean to you to be able to play this version of Spider-Man? Uh, I mean, it was like, tech, it's a dream come true. I wrote it in my journal, um, and it came to life. These guys saw a movie uh, called Dope. Um, and I was, while Ooh, filming, snaps, 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 snaps. Are we doing snaps? Are we doing snaps? We're all, 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 my mind is, I was reading the four agreements. We were mm -hmm. practicing the law of attraction. We were looking at the secret, you know what I mean? I was on that wave, the alchemist, meditating. And I wrote it in my journal. Kirsty, my co-star my co in Dope, comes upstairs. She gives me a journal. And I just start writing. I am Miles Morales. I am Spider-Man. And then mm -hmm. 
the movie, not in theaters, but in like a Sundance comes out, and I guess these guys, you know, I don't know. Your journal. Manifesting. <laughs> now, now that you have this like magical journal where you just write things over and over and you get that, what else are you writing? You know what I said? Box sequel, office sequel, numbers? Sequel, sequel. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do that, but you know what I did say? That it was going to be the best Spider Man movie to ever be made. That actually, that's such a good I have seen many Spider-Man stories before, but Spider-Verse, not just in, in the array of spider people that we see in this movie, it really does tell us uh, a Spider-Man story we haven't seen on the big screen before, and, and really in many versions. So I did want to ask, like, why tell this story in animation? And what can you tell us about the unique style of animation that you chose in this? Because I, I can't think of any other movie that looks like this in, in the style that you chose here. Uh, you're right. They Intentionally. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like this. Um, no, I mean, I think I think we, you know, um, once once Phil and Chris sort of presented the idea of telling um, the origin story for Miles, it just became a um, okay. So we're going to put everything subjective to Miles. This character, his family. He's from Brooklyn. Let's go to Brooklyn. Let's let's absorb Brooklyn and um, let's find a way to make you feel like you're in a version of Brooklyn that's a little bit heightened, where um, the personality of the city. Um, is is reflected into the personality of the character, uh, and 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 we did that for each borough with Queens and, and Manhattan, um, and it was just uh, as far as the technique for the animation, it, it was a it was just a dream to try and um, break out of a, a mold that I think you know is fantastic. There's been 20 years of CGI films that are all wonderful and beautiful, um, but we wanted this thing to stand out and be as as unique and idiosyncratic as Miles and Shamid, and and that's how we represented it. Oh, thank you. Laws <laughs> <laughs> of attraction, Shamim. Yeah. 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 Magic yeah. journal. Yeah. The mandate sort of from the beginning, and this is from working with Phil and Chris, the mandate was sort of to, to push every part of the movie, you know, as much as we could in a, in a new way. You know, we, we wanted to give the audience, you know, a kind of new experience, and we didn't really know how to do that in the beginning, but that was, that was always the goal. And, and again, everything sort of funneled through through Miles Morales' story and just saying, how can we use, you know, the visuals and the story and how can we, you know, push ourselves, you know, in new ways to sort of express this kid's story and what he's feeling from moment to moment mm -hmm. in a way that, uh, that will feel fresh to people. So that was, you know, we were sort of empowered to do that, you know, fortunately. And, and you know, the, the thing was like, we, they always said, we, we want to tell you guys you've gone too far. You know, and I don't know that we heard that. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll want to do this. Once or twice. Close. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the, the, the really great thing about it is as new and different as it is and seems to be, because, you know, in large part, it's, it's grounded by these amazing performances by our cast, who are, like, all incredible. Um, it, it kind of, like, reinforces the essential strength of the, of the idea of Spider-Man. You know, we've always said anyone can wear the mask. Uh, Miles is sort of the, the emblem of that, but it just shows you how strong the idea that Stanley and Steve Ditko created was and stays. It's just a, an iconic character, and we're just, we had a great time doing it. I, I will also say I just loved how you guys incorporated the visual aesthetic of comic books, like from the thwips mm. to the, mm. you know, sort of thought squares <laughs> uh, into the movie in a way that felt really seamless and paying homage to the, the entire legacy of Spider-Man. Why not? We could do it. Animation. Yeah. Animation. <laughs> we could do it. Yeah. Yeah. We ran with it. And I think it works because we, we left it subjective to, 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 to Miles. You know, you see it in the opening with the existing um, Spider-Man, and then it disappears until Miles is bitten by the spider, and then we bring it back in, and it's really, um, you know, it's a, a narrative tool. So it, it works on many levels. Yeah. Now, Jake, you play Peter B. Parker, uh, a new Peter Parker version of Peter Parker that we meet in this movie. What can you tell us about who uh, Peter is, and what makes this version of him different and special from who we've seen before? Well, I think it's Peter Parker at 40. Um, <laughs> which I think <laughs> makes them a little bit different. That's oh, it's a real thing. <laughs> it's a very real thing. Um, it's Peter as a mentor. It's, um, it's somebody who has forgotten what it means to be a superhero, hanging out with somebody who's learning how to be a superhero. And um, really, I formed a lot of Peter. Obviously, the writing is so good, and our directors and creators were incredible. And they allowed me to act with this guy in the booth, oh, nice. which really helped a lot of figuring out who Peter was because you could play Peter opposite Miles. And Peter really exists in this with his relationship with uh, Miles. So I guess that's who he is. 
Yeah, I don't, I like can't even say anything because I want people to experience that dynamic for the first time on the screen, but it's like so pitch perfect. Mm -hmm. so, I'm not even intended on that, I swear. <laughs> uh, yeah, Haley, uh, but speaking as sort of the theme of anyone can Great wear a mask. Segue, right? I do. Applause. All right, that's it. It's a wrap. Um, no, but the, you know, Gwen Stacy is one of the many uh, spider people, but one of the, the people that we meet early on in the movie, um, also a version of a spider uh, character who has been in the mask for a while. Uh, what can you tell us about sort of uh, what attracted you to this role and why you think this character is so important and why you wanted to play her? I, d I just have to say, I just noticed your shirt, and that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you need clothes plug. That is great. This is so good. Um, there were so many, uh, so many things about this character in particular, but about this project in general that excited me about uh, just just being a part of it. Um, but here is a character who is just free spirited and strong and smart and knows it and takes control of that. Um, she is a natural, fearless leader. Um, and I don't know, there's just such a, so there's such an incredible uh, part of her that is so her own person, but she is completely capable of, of anything, but they, everybody comes together and everybody uh, becomes a team, which I think is so special. And there's such an incredible uh, relationship that Gwen, that Spider-Gwen has with, with everybody that she encounters. Um, and she leaves, a, she leaves a, a lasting impression, I think, on everybody that she encounters, which is very special. Um, but overall, generally being, you know, uh, just a part of this project is truly an honor. And um, just, again, to be here with everybody right now is kind of, you know, realizing that. Seeing it together as a whole, I saw it for the first time last night, and it is incredible. So, Ooh. very Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Snap, snap, snap. All right. Yeah. I, I didn't realize, Shamik and Jake, that you guys had actually recorded together. Haley, did you have a No, in fact, I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did realize in doing some press with you, I was like, oh, I would have liked to record that. <laughs> How did the three of you guys sort of, you know, develop that dynamic and, and that team um, sentiment for your characters? Well, we met two we, days ago. Two, <laughs> you got to give credit to these people right here. Well done, everybody. Editing. <laughs> but we got to work together, which was nice. But really, it was, you know, a lot of work they did in putting yeah. it together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of times yeah. we were just like, hey, will you please just stop the tour bus no. for two hours? <laughs> and we'll, can we run in there? Can we get these five lines? It's hard to catch up with a rock star. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, it was, right. what was cool was that they each brought something, and we, it was a many year process. We recorded with them for a couple of years, so um, every time they would bring something. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so they would, they would record something, and we're like, oh, this is awesome. We need to like rework the scene so that it, it plays more into that. And so then when we record the next person, then we would build off of that. And, and, and it was really interactive. And even funks that we were recording individually, you know, once you put it into the scene and you see what the dynamic looks like, it forces us to go rewrite and try to get the best out of everything. There was really a lot of that. Slow improv. <laughs> it's yeah. super slow. Yeah. Slow motion improv. <laughs> exactly what My it. work has been described as work. <laughs> Uh, now, Lily, you play another version of an iconic character in this movie, Aunt May. Without giving too much away, how would you sort of describe this version of May? Mm. <laughs> um, well, she's Peter Parker's aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. And she's been she's been through it all, and um, she's ready to deal with anything that comes her way mm -hmm. in helping Miles get with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, are, uh, there are obviously opportunities for many sequels and spinoffs and everything, but May was definitely a character after seeing the movie where I was like, I want the Aunt May story. I want to know what happened uh, before we got to this point and what led us to here. So. Write it in uh, Shamik's journal. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sequel, sequel, right. May sequel, May sequel. I have this journal in case anybody wants to pass it, pass it around me. Yeah. No, I started because uh, Phil asked me, he was like, is this, is this a true story? I was like, yes, and I have the journal. <laughs> oh, really? Cool. That's cool. Now, one thing I think uh, that's really interesting about sort of the way this movie um, adapts Spider-Man stories is that a lot of times it involves uh, Spider-Man, be it Peter Parker or different iterations of the character, losing sort of like a father figure, an important figure in their life. And here, in addition to sort of Peter being a mentor, we also have a, a bunch of incredible family members who have a big impact on uh, Miles's life. And so I want to talk to Luna and Brian and Mahershala a little bit about, I know, you guys are so far away. <laughs> um, 
about sort of you know what what you brought to the story and what having that family dynamic really added to into the Spider Verse. Uh, so for Luna, one thing that I really loved was that there are moments um, when you know Rio is talking to Miles in Spanish, and there's like no need for su subtitles. It's just like this is a, a multicultural family, and this is what their relationship is like. So why was it important for you to sort of have those aspects? And you know the writers and directors can talk about it as well, uh, and and producers. But why was that important to you, and and why was it important to you to play this role? Well, you know, honestly, when when I got into the room, it just existed. The Spanish was already there, and it was already incorporated. And this character we agreed with is from Brooklyn, Puerto Rican, and that in and of itself is so specific. So uh, I was really shocked with how, like, that I was going to get the opportunity to play this character who is so authentic. And not only that, that I was given the room, the wiggle room, to play with it and really find not only the rhythm of how that could fit and make sense, um, but to find her rhythm, because it's the first time I've ever done anything animated or voiceover. So for me, it was challenging and a little bit daunting at first to be given so much room. It was like, uh, can you just tell me what you, <laughs> what you want to say? say? I don't have to just make it all up. How do you want me to say it? It was like, go for it. Just say what you want to say. Yeah, we just so. gave you a blank page. <laughs> <laughs> so lazy. Real wasn't even in the movie, and kind of made her up. <laughs> no, I got great stuff, but I was, you know, the encouragement to just keep going and growing with it was really, was really special. And also, it wasn't until I started doing it that I recognized that, you know, a Spider-Man. This is the first time you see Spider-Man's mom, and how important it is that this is uh, a, an ethnic woman. This family is ethnic, and you know, it's not a struggling family. This is a loving, thriving, giving, growing, um, ever-evolving family, and that was really exciting to be a part of. Yeah. And then for Brian and Mahershala, obviously Miles' relationship <coughs> with both his father and his uncle are pretty different, and he sort of uh, has different lessons that he learns from each of them. What can you tell us uh, about, again, no spoilers, about uh, your character's relationship <laughs> with Miles and how you think they helped shape him both as a person and a spider? <laughs> Easy softball. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I feel like uh, Uncle Aaron is, is sort of the the safety net that parents appreciate later. So it's, he's, the, he's the guy that uh, Miles can go to where uh, there's certain things that fall through the cracks in raising a child and, and where they can't necessarily always relate or go to a parent. And so to have Aaron there who is wise, um, who is street smart and experienced in, in, in ways that Miles obviously is not, and in ways that his brother is not at this point, um, there's something about Aaron that makes him very easy to connect to for Miles and very relatable and very safe in a certain in a certain way. And so um, it, he, he, was, he was just great on the page in general. And I, I could just understand what the dynamic was. And also was, what was also great is that there's a little bit of tension between Aaron and Jefferson. And... Um, and you understand clearly as to why that is. And it's a dynamic that is still very much, at least in at our point in the story, in process or in progress. You, you can kind of imagine that they have work to do and potentially will do that work if they're given that time mm -hmm. together, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, um, I, I, yeah, he's just definitely there to, to support and be somewhat of a mirror and a voice and a sounding board for Miles. And um, it was great getting to see that dynamic play out so beautifully um, on screen. Mm -hmm. I would definitely agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian, how about for you? With uh, well, I thought it was really great, one, uh, that here we are raising this, this um, you know, multicultural family, like child in Brooklyn, and he is <laughs> part of parents of service. Like, you're a paramedic and I'm a cop, you know, so our, our duty is to help people. And, um, being being able to play the father to Spider-Man in this was just un, unbelievable because it was just so refreshing to see this young black kid who actually like really like has this great relationship with his father and his father is also like his source of strength and his father is who he looks to. And well, meanwhile, he also still has a great familial bond with his brother and slash uncle, you know what I mean? But we are still trying to figure our things out. What I love about the whole thing is that it's all based out of love. Like, mm -hmm. it really is, like, this communal effort to raise this young kid and give him the, the advantages that we may not have had mm -hmm. and to put him out there in this world that may not be so welcoming mm -hmm. um, to those kind of changes and to make sure that we rear him in the right way. 
Um, so I think that's a testament to, uh, you know, the writing and mm -hmm. the direction, just allowing us to explore that, allowing him to be a child, allowing him to, you know, n be, be one with his neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, he, have respect for adults, you know, still go out there and be the kid that he is, but then to know that he can come home to this place that is constantly, constantly giving him love, that is constantly going to embrace him. There's no place in this city he can't go without being embraced, and I mm -hmm. think that that is just something that, to me, is is so dynamic and and, and a representation. I mean, the representation it's very clear. This is the this is this world. That is how it is. And I mean, I think it's been done in such a seamless way with the way they put it together. Mm -hmm. Because it's really hard sometimes to feel like you can have that kind of fantasy when you come from these different backgrounds, you come from these different places to feel like you can be a hero, to feel like you can go and experience that. And I think that this movie wonderfully captures all of that. That that you can, anyone can be that person, mm -hmm. anyone can be a hero no matter who you are, as long as it is definitely embraced and, and, and pushed forward with love. And I mm -hmm. think that that's what we need. Woo! That's worth yeah. snaps. Yeah. 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 Can we give you guys snaps too? Yeah. Like, you guys did an amazing job. You guys did amazing job. I cannot believe that we've already gone through like 25 minutes already because <laughs> there's so much we haven't touched on, the humor, the, the Easter eggs, but I do want to get to some fan questions as well. Um, this is a question for everyone uh, from Michael Vlasak on Twitter. Or, sorry, Matthew Vlasak. He says, this is the first time seeing so many interactions of the Spider-Man character from different universes that will be featured in the movies. What do you hope people, especially kids, walk away with after seeing it? I mean, our whole goal from the beginning was to have any, everyone come away and feel empowered from the movie and be able to look up on the screen and find someone and be like, that feels like me. I could be that person. I could be a hero, too. Um, and we want people to know that, that we're there for them and we're all counting on them. Mm. Yeah. Anyone can wear the mask. Anyone mm -hmm. can wear the mask? Yeah. And still be unique, though. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. still be, you know, you don't become that Spider-Man in wearing the mask. Mm. You know, What's the there's line? still a de strong degree of individuality. What, make, what makes and, you different? Yeah. And, and yeah. 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 People having their own qualities, even within being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. superhero. And that's the thing, like we have such a, an incredible array of people here too, but you, there are so many other iterations of, of Spider-Man, yeah. like, even <laughs> in the movie, like we have Penny Parker, we have Spider-Noir and, and Spider-Ham and, and everyone that I'm <laughs> sure that you guys were writing these down and you're like, there's no way <laughs> they'll let us put Spider-Ham Spider -Ham. <laughs> and here he is right. on poster. Well, it was our Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to ask all the voice talent in the movie, uh, if you could play any character other than your own, in this film, who would they be and why? And this is a character from Brogan Wilson on Twitter. Ooh. Wow. You want to uh, start with Jake? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> sure, I have an answer. Oh, prepared. fantastic. I'm fully <laughs> prepared. I'm not stalling right now in the slightest. I'm just saying the answer out loud, and that's what's happening right now. Uh, I would say Spider Ham. Oh, oh. oh. Boom, I took the answer from everybody. Everyone's answer. Oh. Everyone's answer. Okay, there's going to be a repeat answer. Does okay. anyone have an answer that's not, not Spider Ham? Yeah. Yeah. Me? Oh. oh. I I actually want to play Uncle Aaron. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Me too. He's that's... so cool. Oh. He's so he's cool. So cool. He's so cool. I just thought he was. I, I just love that. I want to be that cool when you. When well, I, I wish I could take credit. <laughs> <laughs> it made me good. Yeah, I, yeah. If anybody can, you can. Believe me, if I was doing the voice, it wouldn't be as cool. Take some credit. So it takes. Right. I would right. be Gwen. Yeah. I would have said, I told Everybody you Gwen. stole my answer. Gwen, <laughs> Gwen, was, <laughs> Gwen came with the realness, man. Gwen, Gwen had the humor. Gwen had the like sass. Gwen was like still like very. I was like, oh, she's really, really, really cool. Like I, I actually think that killed it. I would totally, yeah. Sweet. yeah. The thing, you know. What I mean? Gwen yeah. probably has it together the most of everyone in uh, this yeah. movie. For sure, for sure. There's nothing left for me but Miles. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would full on see that movie. Yeah. I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. that. For sure. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Somewhere in the Spider Verse. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, I don't want to make you too much more upset, but we also were in the booth together too. We oh, great. Oh, I will say. <laughs> I meant to say that before. <laughs> they were all four of us. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, you so know. I was a, so, I was so. alone. <laughs> just so you know. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Haley, I was alone as well. Oh, okay, great. But, I, I, I was by myself. Okay. 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 Thank you. It was only because they were both in Atlanta at the same time. Yeah. Nothing. And then New York. 
and then LA. And then LA. And then LA. And then LA. Yeah. But you got the familial bond that way. It was requested. It was requested. I swear it was not because of this conversation happening right now that I'm getting the wrap up sign. No, but but <laughs> it was requested because it was initially the very first scene you two guys were in together, and it was the police car ride, and it was. What about the and, very first scene we were in? Uh, yeah, Bob. We wanted Bob. you guys to seem like you <laughs> didn't. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anxiety. <laughs> the scenes that we should have done together definitely should have been like. I mean, no, it's good the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a snap. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Yeah, you've um, lost control of it. I've lost, I've lost the problem. Like, what, what's the perfect ending for it? Um, no, I appreciate everyone so much taking the time to have this uh, chat with everyone today. I'm so excited for everyone at home to get to see the movie Woo! on December 14th, 15th, 16th, all the way through Christmas. Yep. Keep buying tickets. Buy yes, out your theaters. January, February, March. <laughs> it's going to be on home video eventually, so please uh, place your that, pre-order. Don't wait for that, though. No, 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 well, don't wait for that. Got to see it on exclusively in theaters forever. Big screen. Big screen. Um, in theaters. We, forever. We do gotta go. I hope we made enough spider puns for everyone at mm. home. Uh, but to end you with a bang, please, I'm sure you're very excited to see this again, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse trailer. Thanks, everyone. That's Bye. all. Bye. 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 My name is Peter Parker. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I saved the city, fell in love, then I saved the city again and again and again. Look, I'm a comic book, a serial, I did a Christmas album, and a so-so popsicle. But this isn't about me. Not anymore. Spider-Man swings in once a day, zip zaps off in his little mask, and answers to no one. I love you, Miles. Yeah, I know that. You gotta say I love you back. Dad, are you serious? I, I wanna hear it. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's a copy. My name is Miles Morales. I'm the one and only Spider-Man. At least that's what I thought. You ever hear of the Super Collider? You're gonna love this. Dimension opening now. You're like me. That's impossible. All right, kid, listen up. This fry is your universe. It's soggy, it's weird, it's gross. And this delicious normal fry is my universe. So you want to learn to be Spider-Man. Can you teach me? Yes, I can. Time to swing. Ah, Good, doing you're doing it. it. Double tap to release and whip it out again. OK. Whip and release. You're a natural. Whip. 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 Hey, guys. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. Okay. We need to get back to our universes soon. Brooklyn is gonna collapse. My family lives in Brooklyn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miles, what's wrong? This was never your city. It's mine. If I don't destroy the collider, none of us will have a home to go home to. Remember, what makes you different? Let's go! Is what makes you Spider-Man. Officer, I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? That way, that way. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak them out.